Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Thea 2 The Shattering. Uh, so we have some important stuff to do here. First of all, we are quite tired. We're also quite hungry. Let's go ahead and eat right now while I'm thinking about it. Um, we are quite tired. It would be a good idea for us to sleep soon. However, we have some like urgent pressing matters that I don't think can be left until after uh, bed. So let's drink a little bit of water, just get our thirst back down. And let's go take care of these things. The two things that I think we we got to get on pretty much right away are, first of all, uh, one of Notkin's boys is having some medical issues. We should go over there and medicine him up. Uh, if left unattended, he won't live to see the evening. We're not that far from the evening. And then we should probably also... Where was it? Ah, yes. We should go and deliver uh, this paper to the hindquarters district prefect judge. Or the, the guy in the hindquarters district, because I don't want to lose the house if we don't have to lose the house. Although, it seems like the judge might just decide we should lose the house whatever he wants. There doesn't seem to be any kind of, like, process or anything here. I don't know. Like, the thing I've learned about this game is that stuff just happens whenever it feels like happening, regardless of any kind of sense or anything. So, let's run. Let's run. Let's go save a child's life. Let us, first of all not let a child die, and secondly, become known as the guy who saved that child's life. These both seem like good things to me. Things that we need, desperately. So, we want to go through the hole in the wall on the left. We, we've been to not, not Ken's place before. Am I remembering correctly? Yeah, we gotta go through this gap and then around the building. So, okay. One of these days, I'm just gonna know what the map looks like in my head. I mean, don't hold your breath on it. <laughs> It'll probably happen. Alright, I'm here. Oh, hey. Look who it is. I hope the dead mistresses remain dead. We need neither Nina nor the eagle mother here. I don't know. Are you sure? He will die, Emshin. You will take his fate into your hands and he will die. Stain not your hands with the death of a person who trusts you. Uh, how do you know he will die? You are not a healer yet. You will fail. You're a big man, but not so big as to take on responsibility for others. Again, I'm a doctor. It's literally what doctoring is. But someone must try it. This is where you are right. We can't simply let it happen without a fight. So let me fight. Ha. Huh. That's interesting. So, I, I mean, okay, Aspidy is right about the fact that it would prob probably be bad for our reputation overall if we tried to work on the kid and we failed. Is the question is, how much do we believe that Aspidy has any idea whether or not this kid is going to die? You know, I'm just saying, um, she seems a little disconnected from reality, you know? This is a tiny little bit. So... We could let Aspidy do it, and if... See, the, the option to let Aspidy do it says, I'll keep an eye on your progress. Which kind of, it seems like it's implying that I'll be, like, in the room watching over it. Which means I'm still on the hook if the kid dies, right? Like, that's not actually going to be better. I'm definitely a little thrown by this. I was not, I was not prepared for this warning. Well, I think that we should try it. Maybe. Now, I'm actually, like, super torn. I, I will say this for the game. It has it has really given me the impression that uh, consequences matter, that we're not going to be able to just, like, head fake our way through this, and that, like, there's a, a pretty good chance that I will fail if I actually do try to help the kid. It has made this a real dilemma. I'm actually, like, actually really torn. All right, Aspidy. I'm going to trust you on this. You believe taking your father's vessel was enough to become him. You jest, Emshin. You cannot heal. You know not the lines. Don't take too much on, or you'll snap like a rotten bough. Hey, I said the thing. I said you can do it. Uh. Okay, fi fine. I won't take too much on, then. So do we, we still go inside, though, right? Like, are we going to do the thing? It kind of seemed like when I clicked that bottom option, it just responded as though I had clicked one of the top two, doesn't it? 
was not how I was expecting this second part of that to go. I don't know, man. It's so hard to tell with the dialogue in this game. So hard to tell what is happening. So should I just bounce? Or are you going to come in here and do the thing? You're not even present anymore. Okay. Never mind. I will help the kid because apparently Aspidy's not actually going to. As soon as I went inside, she bailed. Okay. Hide and seek, tag, hopscotch. Or we might as well play ring around the rosies. Really? Right now? Is that, do you think that's what would be appropriate in this moment? That big city doctor was just here too. Told me to pass a message on. Don't waste your time on patches. It's over for him. Instead, pull yourself together and come see me. I've got something important for you. That's it. Okay. What do you think? We scrounged up all these pills from all over town. But the big city doctor said Patches will die if we give him any. His body can't take the strain. But you, you're going to try anyway, aren't you? Uh, is this rat poison or something? Well, he said those are antibiotics. Rambled on about them being old, stale, more harm than good. Said we need to know exactly what's wrong before we can use them. Patches is burning up like a lit match, but there's no knowing why. Well... If we can't know what's wrong with him, what can I do? I deal in surgery. You're a doctor too, aren't you? You can heal him. Maybe you can cut away the illness. Take out his appendix or something. Yeah, you can't, you can't just start carving stuff out of people. Also, I don't. this does not seem like a stable place to operate. Alright, diagnosis is always the first thing, Knucklehead. I'm just going to be mean to a child for no reason in his moment of torment. Old Barak would have had something for this. He used herbs to find out what's wrong with his patients. He used to say Twyer reveals everything hidden in a body. Can you do that? I can do many things. We always have an option to be a dick. Come on, take the pills. Here, a handful for everything. Just make sure you figure out which one to give him, alright? The correct one will probably do the trick. Uh, yeah, I mean, diagnostics is a finicky process, but I am going to try. For real, I am going to try. Okay, what was that thought that we just got? Alright, I need to figure out which of his three layers is sick. The good news is I have lots and lots of herbs, right? Uh, so... How do I... Right, I have herbs, but I didn't actually make the stuff. Shoot. Well, we have until evening. I That's right, I was going to make... Hold on, I'll be right back. Don't any of you go anywhere. We have a while until evening. I'm going to be exhausted by the time this is over. And, bad news, like, the, an, a powerful need to sleep while also being fairly hungry is pretty bad. Listen, it's possible we will die. It's entirely possible that we will not be able to make it through the game in a single go with no deaths. And if that's the way it works out, that's fine. In fact, like I, I think I said during the first episode, I am told that there is a narrative path that only opens up through death. They do not expect you to do a great job the first time through. Alright, so we gotta make a bunch of tinctures. We gotta use the tinctures on the kid to figure out what's wrong. We have to be very careful with our diagnosis because it sounds like we are not gonna be able to give the kid a lot of pills. Okay. So let's um let's let's put some stuff together here. Why are these in different stacks? Can I Okay, whatever. So we have Swevery, Brown Twire, Blood Twire, and Black Twire. We have We have quite a bit of each. Okay, so we got some of that stuff. Uh, I don't really know what the deal is with, like, the Ashen Swish or the Swevery. You don't look so happy. You must have come from the hospital. I forgot you were there, kid. You creep me right the hell out. Okay, so we just did... Oh, yeah, we can, we can afford to do black and red. Again. So we now have a good Medril Tincture, a normal Medril Tincture, and a... A yas. Now we need to make some of the brown stuff. Okay. 
Now we have a bunch of those. I'm kind of curious. Let's just brew up some uh, Swish and some Twire together, or some Swivery together, because I don't know what these do. Okay, that makes Bedrill. And we are out of pretty much everything, and also some of the stuff dropped on the floor because my inventory was not the right shape. No, I haven't, and I hope I don't. All right, kid, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, real busy, it turns out. Got a lot of stuff, a lot of plates spinning at the moment. Yeah, the game is the game is doing a great job of instilling in me a sense of urgency and concern. I am actually really worried. So we have our tinctures, we have our pills, we have a little bit of morphine, just a tiny little bit. So it's got to be good enough. Okay, how mad are they really going to be if we try and fail? Right? The, the, the fact that we tried is still going to mean something, right? Aspidy doesn't know what she's talking about, and also she sucks. Also, she sucks for misrepresenting the situation like she was going to help. Okay, so let's start with the Medrel Plus. Diagnose. Okay. Uh, so we could give him another Medrel or a Zerk. I'm not actually sure... Like, maybe, maybe the plus part, the particularly potent part, actually only applies to the boosting immunities? Could be. I'll give him another one of these. It's possible that this is the right thing. It looks like it wasn't. How about this Zerk tincture? Okay, we got him. It's, uh, it's a problem of the blood. One of them blood issues. So, pain is super high. There's infection level... Hmm. So, I mean, we just give him the... I, like, I'm, basically what I'm doing is I'm debating whether we gotta use morphine. I think I'm gonna give him the morphine because his pain level is super high. Okay. And then we give him the monomycinum. This is the blood layer of the human body. Treatment successful. You did all you could. I guess we'll find out? I mean, I imagine there's not going to be an immediate effect. Okay, Notkin wants to talk to us again. Put my trust in Paul, Claw, and Whisker. Not you, Drifter. Yeah, well, I think I just saved your friend's life, so you might want to put those words right back in your mouth there, buddy. That's not a phrase. People don't say that. Are you going to make it? Uh, Too early to say? Too early to say. Time will tell. I tried, man. And that bachelor said it was no use. I knew he was lying, the big city grifter. Impossible this, goner that. Nonsense. Wanted you to go wanted you to abandon us and go see him about some urgent business instead. I mean I'm still gonna do that. So he wanted me to abandon a patient in favor of chatting with him. Charming. Well, he told us it was hopeless. We were worried you'd believe him and leave patches to die. What did you give him, by the way? One of your old man's tinctures? Uh, how does this make sense? You're a shifty one, you should have more faith in me? The kid absolutely had faith in me. But this is like a completely inappropriate response to the thing that's been said here. Uh, listen, make sure he gets plenty of water. I'll go see what the bachelor wants. I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. Okay, we have a cat. We have a cat face thought. The bachelor wants to speak with me. Obviously, that's important. Uh, I did. My treatment helped. It said it, it says I helped. I came into my legacy. I traced father's path and learned the voices of herbs. I entered his secret house and learned his craft. I will take care of his patients. I've proven by deeds that I know the lines. I'm hoping this is really going to help out our reputation in the town. If we have successfully pay, uh, saved patches. We still do need to see about Taya as well. Uh, we got to start hunting down the people on the list as best we can. All right. First things first. And first thing now is, I think, go to here. There is a shady shop there, which we maybe should go to, because I'm, I'm going to need food, and I'm going to need it soon. I'm hoping, really, really hoping, that helping out this kid will mean that people are... Oh, Jesus. Hey there. A long neck and a fat body, and who is for feet? So it's an albino. 
What are you talking about? What is anybody in this town ever talking about? So, I cleaned our place up. I burned the trash, took away the bones, I mean, the cracked ones, and I put that weird gray goo from the table in a bucket. Might be useful, right? Oh, no rest for the wicked, huh? I can also whip up something for us to eat. Got any money? Uh, <laughs> I really wish I did. Don't you dare, you whippersnapper! What am I supposed to do with you? Like Again, just like really inappropriate um, responses. And no money for you. I don't listen. I'll go home. I'll I'll cook. Don't worry about it. Anyway, when are you coming back? Should I wait for you or what? Someone's got to take care of your dad's stuff and and stuff. I think it would be great if we did it together. Why do you care anyway? By the way, I uh broke a pipe over there. I don't think it was important though. So don't hit me, all right? I'll fix it myself. Or has a pipe like that. I bet he'll trade it for a bottle of alcohol. We have a couple of those, right? Uh, just, just stay here. No, hold on. The kid wants to be helpful. Why do I, why am I so invested in him not being helpful? I want him. I want him to be helpful. I could use some help here. All right, listen, just stay here and don't go anywhere. No, I don't want him to stay here, though. Uh, don't trade stuff. Just, just chill. Feel free to fix it. <laughs> but don't fix it by trading, apparently. Not, like, the thing is, I don't want to have said any of those three things. I think what I should be doing in this situation is encouraging the kid. Uh, is it... We want to just go right through here. Yeah. Okay, then it's this building? This It's this building. Alright, I am not hated in the other parts of the town, but... really do need a place that I don't have to run very far to get to. So we don't have a ton of stuff to sell, if I'm remembering correctly. We're just kind of in uh, in grim shape on food. Food is tough. Food is definitely the toughest part of the game so far. Today is probably the day that we have to start stealing to eat. Okay. Uh, 4.32. Yep, yeah, food's expensive, it turns out. Well, what do I have that's worth anything? We could go and sell some herbs at that bar we could trade in at the dead thing store oh actually the hazelnuts are not terrible okay so if we go like broken scissors i have 130 coins as well if we sell these needles i've been trying to hold on to them we, we could also sell the antibiotics but i think we're gonna have a hard time finding more might have to sell these though we gotta eat right So we also have to find some more food, or some more water. That's not like a big deal. I think we're going to have to sell the tourniquet to, in, or, in order to be able to eat this time. I, just, I don't think we have a lot of options. Uh, so these are pretty similar in price, but this one raises your thirst while this one lowers it, which leads me to believe that this one probably actually helps with your hunger more. So I'm going to take that. Not happy about it, but we gotta have some food. And then we have to we have to make some some moves here pretty quickly. So from where I am right now, we need to uh, we could cross the river. We could run up the train tracks. If we run up the train tracks, it's pretty roundabout. I think let's cross the river to uh, to reach the judge. And unfortunately, Taya's probably just going to have to wait until after we sleep. I, I don't think we'll have time to do all of this. Also, there's a water thing around here somewhere, isn't there? I like, really need one. There it is. Because all of our bottles are empty now, too. I used all my water making tinctures. What is happening here? Alright, whenever this event is, I'll be right with you. Really? Do I not have any empty bottles? Oh, right, the, there are tinctures in the rest of my bottles, of course. What is this? Huh. What is this? First, they locked the termitary. Then the murders. Now the factory stopped. Unheard of. Fat Vlad could, would work us to death with no rest or sleep. His domain never stops. And now they're cordoning off districts, too. What's going on? I wonder myself. An emergency at the factory, I guess. Now there's some sort of poisonous soot in the air. And that's what people say. 
We'll see what soot it is. Is this sorry, maybe I delivered this wrong. Oh, uh, we'll see. What soot it is. You can't tell. I have sunglasses on right now and I did lower them slightly. Um, I don't think so. I'm afraid it's worse. I'm afraid it's worse than an emergency at the factory or poisonous soot in the air. It's not a like a real sensical response there. All right. This district is locked down under Dr. Dankovsky's orders. These districts are off limits to anyone but medical personnel. Are you that Vorak guy? Probably that's supposed to be my last name. It's just like he got bad orders and he doesn't know the name. What's going on? Why is the area locked off? People say something happened at the factory, like any mission. Toxic soot in the air. Makes your eyes water in a minute. Wouldn't be smart to go in without protection. What kind of protection? Immunity boosters. Two pills, protective clothes, one unit. Here you go. Uh, okay. That area does look unclean. Thank you for the stuff. Wow, you give me like a lot of stuff. Okay, so you gotta do this and just move this here. Inventory Tetris. I do love a bit of inventory Tetris. Let's put the pills over here and then this thing, like our the mask that we're wearing is still good. I'm just trying to clear up, like make sure that we have all of our all of our free inventory space and kind of like a big open. There we go. Now we'll pick stuff up more cleanly. All right, I'll be right back. We're definitely going to have to explore that area. But first, must reach the thingy here. Uh, except I can't get past this wall. No way around from here. Oh, wait. A box. Hell yeah! Stuff! Buttons! Scissors! Okay! Pretty excited about that, actually. That's a good find. Uh, let's eat while I'm thinking about it. And then... I don't want to... I, I think I sold our fingernails anyway, right? Boy, that's a sentence. Yeah, we don't. We can't take the boat. I was thinking we could probably like route around the closed district nonsense, but whatever. And that guy clearly thinks I'm medical personnel. He gave me all the stuff. Let's just go ahead and go in there. And I'm not going to stress too too much about the uh, immunity thing because I would love to sell these pills if I can. Yeah, something ain't right. I guess where's my immunity at? Maybe we should. Um, Maybe we should use one. Okay. Behind quarters. I mean, there's ash in the air. This place looks a lot rougher than it did last time we were here. Where am I supposed to be going? I need to turn left. This place does look all plagued up. Oh, I thought I saw people in here. Uh, am I in a place where I could... No. And I'm kind of wondering if we're going to find anybody in this building at this point. I guess probably the people who are in here are not going to have been allowed out. Okay, well... It does complicate matters slightly. Need to hand the paper signed by the judge to the hindquarters district prefect. Is there, by any chance... Okay, my immunity is dropping by the moment. So we need to um, get out of here. And exhaustion is becoming powerful. Out of curiosity... Can we just go into people's homes? We just go into what used to be people's homes? Are there still people in here? Because if not, we could just rob the place. I think that might be a thing that's worth doing. I did not sell my needles. So we do have the ability to pick some simple locks. Oh, loot. Loot. Okay, there we go. Hell yeah, stuff. Bracelet. A grindstone, that's useful. 
Money, raisins. Let's go ahead and use the last needle. That's a shame. Uh-oh. Well, that guy's dead, but I'm sure this water's fine. My immunity is all the way empty already, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this other immunity booster. Uh, lady. Lady, you got to get out of here. What does she want? Oh, tinctures are really valuable in trade. Okay, I think we can afford to trade off this uh, this Yas tincture. I'm not trading off my pills. Uh, you are all plagued up, my friend. So yeah, we can rob places like crazy once the plague has taken them, but we're going to have some other problems. Ah, uh, lots of money, though. Lots and lots of money. I am stealing from plague victims, I guess. Some of whom are not actually dead yet. And yeah, it does feel kind of weird. But you know what else feels weird? Starving to death. Oh, uh, God. Come on, there we go. Well, that was useful. Okay, I think it's time we left. Because the immunity is ticking down rapidly. You know what else is ticking down rapidly? My ability to stay awake. The fastest way out of here is going to be to go past the pharmacy and just back out the way we came. So protective clothing, the guy said. Having better items of clothing maybe will protect us more from the plague, or maybe it's just the mask. He did give us boots as well, though. Okay, I am out of stamina. Cannot run. Rough, dude. Turns out the plague is a serious thing. You're supposed to um, take that pretty seriously. So from here to there, gotta go through here. Uh, it is definitely time to sleep. We do not have time for anything that is not going to sleep now. Alright, we do not have time for anything that is not looting and then going to sleep. I love looting. So when we trade off our tinctures, and we should because they're valuable, uh, we do lose the bottles that they're in, and that's a thing worth thinking about. Hey, everybody, what's up? Now everyone acknowledges you. Everyone says you have embarked upon the path of your father. Make it so they unlock the termitary. Uh, bite my bite, Quran. Something's off about it. Trouble must be brewing. What trouble? We don't know. Make them tell us. Make them open the termitary. Make who? Fat Vlad? He won't listen. I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to do it. Everyone says you're now a Menku. Once you're allowed to cut bodies, cut my brother, please. Release him of evil meat. <laughs> Release him of evil meat so he may speak. People got a real way with words in this town. Uh, when will I be allowed to do that? The elders will say when. Can we bring my brother to you? Will you cut away his pain? If I myself live to see that fine moment, absolutely. All right, kid, what do you want? You were unjustly suspected yesterday, but now everyone believes you. My sister is about to give birth. The older women say the child is big, she is small, and so she will die if not helped. Will you help her? I will. Bring her here when her water breaks. I'm taking on more than I can chew, just as I was uh, explicitly instructed not to do. But I want to help people, you know? So it's hard for me to say, no, get out of here. Go die by yourself. Yo, childbirth is terrifying, though. What's up? Grass, black soil. All right, I don't have time for you to speak that slowly. Everywhere. Ikara, you are a true heir to Isidore. You show it with alacrity, with your deeds. You know the ties that bind to the world. Uh, listen, I just try to follow the lines. You know, I just I do what I can. Any new thoughts on the contents of the Udhar? Uh, well, the murderer still breathes. That's what's bothering me. And we will talk about this later, in roughly six hours. I think we should probably do a full sleep here, because we are really close to the end of that bar. Actually, let's do a five-hour sleep and see what it looks like. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Stuff is happening. So, are these the list people? Well, I don't think we know this person. That's Capella. 
Yeah, that's not Ken. That's I think these are that's Grace. These are the people on the list. Well, I guess let's talk to him. Don't be afraid. We're all on the same side for now, aren't we? Uh, I know who you are. You're the kids from Father's List. We're all grateful to you. We know protecting us isn't easy, but you still do it. You make sure we live. And there are seven of you, but there was an eighth on the list. Where is he? Here. For now, he's the Udurg. Uh... Yeah, I can't see him. You think you can't see the eighth, be eighth because you're looking the wrong way. But he's here. It's fortunate he's still on this side. Why? Because he's the Udurg. If he lives, so do we. If he begins to die, so will so will be. I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to be we. Uh, what is an Udurg? Nothing. Of course. Of course nothing. Alright, well, it looks like I'm not allowed to talk to anybody else, so... Out of curiosity... Nope, nothing on the other side of the door. Except that it will turn out there is. Or maybe not. Okay, well, I would love to actually get my sleep. Now, if I could, please. Feeling very hungry. Really dangerously hungry. Well, that's inconvenient. That's woken me up. Oh, dear. Those little hopping mice. What does that mean? Okay, like critical hunger levels. And I don't have any food aside from this egg, so we need to we need to solve that problem like real soon. It's always gonna be food, huh? Hey kid, how you doing? Doesn't want to talk to me, that's how he's doing. I guess let's save. May as well. Okay, did I remember to take everything out of here? Looks like. Don't, don't suppose the kid could actually, like, go to the trouble of finding us some stuff to eat, huh? Do we want to mix more? I guess I may as well, right? We have a little bit of black and red. Tinctures are valuable. Okay, did I make sure to fill all of my... Let's let's make sure we fill all of our bottles. Okay. Time to go figure out how I could possibly get some more food. I mean, I've been to... I have looted a house since the last time we shopped. Hopefully it'll be enough. So... Yeah, just to the shady shop, huh? And then... We have to figure out the alarm bell. Apparently that is the only thought that we are having right now. Okay, I'm on it. Didn't quite get all the sleep I meant to get, but this seems like a pretty important moment. So we'll go up through this district. Yeah, okay guys, I get it. I'm working on it. I only got so many feet. He says, as though more feet means you are faster. Listen, dogs run pretty fast. Horses run pretty fast. Have you ever thrown a shoe at a millipede? Things take off at about a mile per hour. Little tiny sonic booms. This is all, this is all solid logic. Alright, I have more goods and more money. Please give me things. I need the things, and I need them so badly. Okay, so this cloth mask is worth very little. This one is worth quite a bit more, uh, but we probably should hold on to a mask. We should have a mask. This grindstone is pretty valuable. Obviously, it also would be good to use it to actually, like, sharpen things. Uh, buttons. I wonder if buttons are good to trade to kids, you know, given that description and everything. I think I'm going to try to keep the tool stuff. I mean, obviously, we have to prioritize eating. But, like, the scissors and the buttons... I'd love to get, like, a good piece of food. So we have a little under 500 total money. We can take the toast. Let's try to get this smoked fish. We have enough stuff to make that work. 
Oh, wow. That bracelet's actually really valuable. That's awesome. Uh, so we could probably get even a little bit more food. Are these raisins are cool. Like, yeah. Fish and toast? You're a creepy looking dude. I think the, the fact that the people look pretty real, but also like just a little bit not real, is probably intentional. It does do a really good job of increasing the degree to which the setting feels unnerving. If it's not intentional, they got like they got really lucky with their face tech and it not quite working. This is a really good job of like living in the uh, the creepiest part of the uncanny valley. Oh, apparently there was a thing right here. Well, let's uh, let's refill that water bottle then. And the bell is this way. He says, okay, fine. I will trust the reflections. They, uh, they have seemed to be pretty bright so far. This is a pretty, like, unsettling way to show me the route to the bell, I guess. At this point, I'm so normalized to things... Uh, things in this game being weird is so normalized to me that it's not even really registering in a visceral way. I had to stop and think about it. Oh yeah, okay, these guys are kind of strange. I'm assuming that this is going to be like the bell, the bell ringing to announce a formal quarantine, which is probably going to do some pretty bad things for public order. Huh. Boy, that's unsettling. How close are we? Hey, we're getting closer. Okay. That's the bell. That is not the bell. That is a weird thing on top of a roof of a building. Where are we relative to the bell? Okay, we just gotta go around. I don't know why I'm looking at my map when there's all these helpful people here. Can I loot these coffins? There's nothing in them. Okay. They do seem a little narrow to me, you know, to hold a whole body. But then again, I am an American. You know, we uh, we tend to be a fairly broad people. Why, hello, a giant bell. Can I please stop the bell? Nope. Let me just go inside the town hall. It seems like somebody should stop the bell. Been ringing for a long time. At this point, anybody who's going to hear the bell has heard it. It has served its purpose. Okay, hey everybody. Well, under the circumstances, uh, any inheritance. Oh my be god, these line deliveries are like torturous. Just talk faster. This is why you guys haven't. This is why this town is so technologically underdeveloped. Because it takes everybody all day to say a sentence. An epidemic, Barak. Plague. And if it's the sand plague that smothered 300 of my workers five years ago, then it's serious. Very serious, my boy. Your father saved us back then. But now, now I need you at hand. Do I make myself clear? Uh, what epidemic? What are we talking about here? Sand plague. Sand pest, as we called it back then. Lethal. Everyone who got sick died. No survivors. And contagious, Barak. Very much so. Uh, how do you know it's the same thing? That's of no concern to you, Barak. I'm the doctor. That's of maximum concern to me. It's of more concern to me than anybody. Everything important that could be done, I've done already. There will be a fund. There will be a headquarters. Intrigues. Sleepless nights. Everyone here thinks they're crucial to defeating the outbreak. But they're scared. Mistaken. What can they tell you? Yeah, I'm a doctor, guy. You gotta stop being weird and actually tell me what's going on. So, you have some time on your hands? Then go to each of them. Talk to one, two, three people. Fill your head with minutia. While time, time is running out. Your time. Seven empty conversations. You don't need them. I can tell you all you need to know. Okay, so what do I need to know? We have four doctors. Well, three, you excluded. They'll work on the epidemic. The, the headquarters will be here. All your actions, I mean their actions, will be accounted for and rewarded by the Anti-Epidemic Fund. 
I like incentivizing entrepreneurship. If you work well, you're paid well. So rest assured, they won't sit on their hands. Me excluded. Why? I have my own plans for you. Okay, let me make myself clear. In this war, I'm on the front lines. Got it? I'm the only doctor who knows how to make tinctures, I think. Apparently, maybe that's the case. Seems like I'm important here. I see you're branded. Is that Mark a letter? Am I branded? Did somebody brand me while I was sleeping? This is humiliating. Father purposefully charges me with tasks that present our family in the ugliest possible light. Supplying the fund with adequate food and medicine is clearly impossible. My efforts here are futile. But why? I'm going door to door and seizing people's stockpiles of medicine and food? Insanity. They won't hand it over, of course. They barely have anything left. How did this happen? No one knows why the train is almost a month late. We've maintained regular shipments of, me of meat and skins. So where's our pay? Where's the regular supply train? We're on the brink of starvation. There are no stocks left. Which means everyone's on their own now. And I'll have to kneel in front of my father to take responsibility for this fiasco. Ah, you're a smart man. You'll find a way. Of course, I have a sense of what that way will be, and I'm not too happy about it. So an act, and you reap a habit. So a habit, and you reap a character. So a character, and you reap a destiny. This guy almost speaks at a normal speed. Barak, the situation is regretful. I just didn't have time to warn you. This is maybe what he would have told us if we had reported to him when he said it was urgent. Oh, look, I understand. Forget it. Well, let's get down to business. We have three doctors in town. Four, if we count the deranged girl who claims to have a healing touch. Rubbish, of course. But she has a lot of energy, and she knows a thing or two, so it won't hurt to let her work. And Barak, allow me to be frank, yeah? Where did you graduate? What are your qualifications? Do you have a degree? I'm a surgeon. Barak, I want you to become my aide. Your primary goal, or our primary goal, is developing a vaccine. You're a local and enterprising. I need your help. Okay, well, uh, a vaccine would maybe have been better to create earlier. Yeah, okay, <laughs> several of these options are about that. A vaccine? We wouldn't finish that until after the whole town is extinct. But what an amazing breakthrough for your resume, right? Other towns like this one exist, you know. If this disease is half as lethal as the outbreak five years ago, this place is doomed. But other people can still be saved. Or perhaps you have better suggestions. Uh, I'll think of something. I'm not going to let you just give up on the sick. So what do you have in mind, Brock? I, I just need to find a way to save people. And you're calling me ambitious. If this is the same disease that broke out here five years ago, then plague is like mumps compared to it. We don't really know. We don't know what really happened during that outbreak. Well, think about it. A curative serum for an unknown disease, this contagious and this lethal, on such short notice. What a utopian thought. A vaccine, on the other hand, can protect the healthy. The people who still have a chance. Uh, yeah, I'd rather take care of those who are already suffering. It seems like you guys got this thing under control anyway. I will make the vaccine, but I can't do it without you. All you need to do is be at hand and do as I say. I will take full responsibility for the situation. Okay, we should try to do everything we can, right? Like, developing the vaccine will probably help, sa help save people. Not people here, but people elsewhere. Uh, yes, okay, fine. I will try to drop by if I have the time. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. I am plenty grown, thank you. I know what you're thinking. You want to look for the murderer, avenge your father? Forget it. Let me handle it. I'll do it better than you. Father would want you to uh, father would want you to work, not seek vengeance. Work in his stead. Okay, well at least stock is like all the way come around on me not being the murderer. Uh let you handle it. Why in the world? You failed him. You hesitated and left him in trouble. In my book, you forfeited your right to revenge. Leave it to me. I can do better. And you, well, you're a better doctor than me. So what does this mean for me? You're no longer a surgeon. You're a pharmacist. I'm better at dissecting people. In all senses, Brock. But to create an infusion like Isidore did, that requires your intuition. Your hands. 
It gives me no pleasure to admit all this, but it's true. Well, I'm, I'm just going to do whatever I need to do. I do still actually want to, you know, solve the father's murder thing. Like, we got to take care of the kids on the list anyway. And this is our best lead in that direction. So it's not like I'm going to be taking a lot of extra time out of my day. Like, we got we to keep these kids healthy no matter what. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not actually familiar with everybody here. Years gloomy this year. I am familiar with this dude, though. Looks like you could, like, slice a ham on that guy's face. Jesus. The hospital will be set up in the theater. Possible infected will be examined there every day. The disease will be studied, and we'll even try curing it. They say there's no cure for the sand pest, but Dr. Denkovsky st still has hope. So what does that mean for me? It means the theater is your place now, your real home. Tend to the sick, dissect the dead. Work night and day to find a cure for this accursed plague. Uh, thanks. I was planning to do that already. But you are Olgimsky's private doctor now, aren't you? I guess he'll object then, or even forbid you to risk your life. Yeah, I am my father's son. Olgimsky is no one to me. He is standing right over there, so maybe I should, <laughs> shouldn't say that. Yeah, did he tell you that? No, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. He doesn't get to tell me who's doctor I am. Gang. <laughs> Some barber. The three ruling families will recruit volunteers to observe order. The dangerous districts will be cordoned off. Entry or exit will not be possible. Any crime against health or property will be punished immediately. Okay, and what does that mean for me? You're a doctor, so you have privilege. Unlike others, you are allowed entry and, more importantly, exit from infected areas. We rely on your responsibility. If you discover you're infected, you won't attempt to conceal or spread it, correct? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little more complicated than that, but he doesn't need to hear that from me. Buttons, don't they? Okay, I think this is the first time we're meeting Katerina, right? If it's the same sickness, all measures are pointless. Wishful thinking, delusional actions. For it's clear what we're dealing with. Fire from heaven, the great flood. No one shall be spared, save for the ten righteous men. Uh, but we need to fight. That's what makes life meaningful. Whatever's left of it, anyway. Forget the plague. You can't affect it. Think of yourself, not of the disease. Search your soul. Are you a righteous man, or are you one of the cattle for the slaughter? Whom will it kill, and whom will it spare? And why? This is the curious question which must be answered. By me, doctor, not you. Uh, yeah. Sounds like you're gonna have to really have a word or two with God, huh? So, his death was another prank? Hmm. Best not judge. Simon's disappeared like his body? The, the Oniratechs have met the challenge. The Polyhedron will live. Well, good. I'm glad the Polyhedron will survive us all. It's spreading across Earth, the lower town, between the gullet and the abattoir. Uh, yeah, thanks, Judge. I know what part of the town is called Earth. Two architects live in Earth, Andre and Peter Stamaton, both geniuses, each in his own way. Please, take them into your care. You could let the whole town die, but these two must survive. Why? Because you won't find mines like theirs anywhere else on the whole continent. We hunted them for much too long. My brother Simon collected many brilliant specimens in this town, you know. It is an ark. Okay, where do they live? I'll look in on them. Peter lives in a loft in the Tanners. Andre, though, rarely leaves the broken heart, his pub below the factory. I put my hopes on you, Doctor. Pay them a visit, as soon as you can. Okay, I know that place. It's a twiring den. I had no idea it's run by a genius. So, let's figure out a bit of a plan from here. So, in, in a way... It's going to be easier now to keep fed and stuff because there are parts of the town that we're going to be able to just like run into and loot, but that'll only be true as long as we can keep ourselves from catching the plague while we do so. And I don't know exactly what the mechanics of that are. I'm assuming that as long as we keep the immunity bar higher than completely empty, that we'll be okay. But it might be the case, right, that there's, um, there's like a periodic check every time, every X seconds that we're in an, in, uh, an infected area, and that it's not guaranteed that we will remain healthy. 
uh, if the uh, infection bar is low or whatever. So who knows? Well, what are we going to do right now? I mean, is, is right now, are we just going after the um, architects? The hell with it. Now is not the time to get misty-eyed with old friends. That's a weird thing to say here. Like, what? Why, why is that thought just here disconnected from everything? Now, some things aren't bound to happen. Okay. Uh, apart from the seven kids, there was an eighth on the list, Udurg. A new Dirk, perhaps. Who or what is it? I suspect I, I will one day have to find out. Yeah, alright, I agree with that assessment. So... There's nobody here I can talk to anymore. I guess we're done here. Well, we have a sense of how things will go from now. Where'd that, Brit where'd that bell go? Who just took down the huge bell? Huh. Well... So do we want to try to go and check out the children's stash? I mean, stashes are important. If we take something, we got to put something back. But also, like, I desperately need stuff. We could go check out the graveyard, I suppose, on the way. Um, maybe it would be best to go for the architects now, though. Probably time is of the essence on this plague stuff. Yeah, let's go have a chat with the architects. Provided that we actually can. Hello, small child. Would you like things? You would like things, and you have an egg. Oh wow, raisins are really valuable to kids. I'm just gonna give them the hazelnut. Uh, the hazelnuts, never mind. That's a pretty good straight up trade. I don't... Ooh, fingernails are actually... These get more interesting as parts of the town get cordoned off and get unsafe to move through, right? For right now, I'm not gonna trade for it, but I can definitely see a situation where I would. All right, little kids love things. So we could give them, or we could get a needle from them in exchange for, like, this spring. Or we could go, like, soap plus a needle in exchange for raisins and get a little bit of reputation in addition. I think I kind of like that. Wait, are they? Oh, they're three and two, not two and two. Okay, that's a fair trade. I'll take that trade. At the very least, the needles trade better. Oh, immunity boosters. Like, tremendously important. Unfortunately, we'll have to give the kid a pretty favorable deal on this, but, like, we have to... We have to take this, right? Alright, we get a little bit of additional respect in the, uh, in the backbone. How fares your kind? Do you know what an adurg is? What does the Chondro sigil stand for? A body that contains a world. Everyone knows that. Okay, but what does that mean? It can be a creature made of many creatures, like a family, a taglor, a group of people bound by the same fate. Uh, you haven't really made it any more clear. Our words are erased, Katanga. We turn our father's flutes into sticks. We take old words, big words, and apply them to small things. But the connection to the source is still there. The lines remember. Yes, connections are like veins. You can't just tear them out. Okay, so that kid's talking about, like, the erasure of culture, right? Uh, where is that new thought? Here it is. Udurg means the body that contains a world. It refers to something that consists of many living parts. So it could... Um, people. It could just literally mean family. Like, this could be me, right? I don't know. Just keep trading with these kids. Uh, this kid is not going to give up his immunity boosters. That's fair. I guess, you know what? I wasn't even really thinking about it, but it might be the case that we don't want to take immunity boosters from these kids. Maybe. I could definitely see this being the sort of game where that would have a long-term effect. Well... You know, young people, they're healthy, they're stalwart. Probably most of them will survive, maybe? I would love that morphine, but there's no way we're going to be able to trade that off of her. You don't really have anything super valuable. I mean, those peanuts would be good for trade with kids. I think I value my grindstone more than that, though. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we're going to need to acquire some more stuff. We have some marbles. Do you want to trade, like, marbles for soap? Wow. Those marbles are... Man, that's a little bit of a shame. We could go marbles for soap. We haven't actually trade, traded with a woman yet. We still haven't actually completed that one thought. And... Going too up on our reputation here. Like, our reputation meter in this place is pretty high. I wonder if we could get to the point where we're actually liked. With this, I give you some of my hope. We have no doctor now. Who will help us? Well, it turns out I'm not even the only doctor in town. Who will treat our injuries or deliver children? You're a surgeon. You can do all that. So, have some of our hope. And hope often leads to love. Uh, okay. I haven't carried this item for long. There's little of me in it. Still, I have some of my warmth. Okay, and that was, like, really good for us. Holy crap. The marbles are only worth two to this kid. I think, I think that trade was worth making, even if it wasn't super profitable for us. Okay, well, it's a plague district. So where's my immunity at right now? It's not very high, right? We do have a booster. I'm just going to go ahead and hit this booster. And I'm going to eat this egg, too, while I'm looking at it. May as well. This district is infected. Listen carefully. I'll explain what you need in order to stay alive. Immunity is your armor. It gets thinner each time you contract the disease. So it would do you good to keep an eye on it. Take pills. You know the drill. Uh, yeah, but it's not healthy to take too many pills. Infected air lowers your immunity slowly but constantly, simply because you're breathing it in. But that's not the worst part. An infected person's touch or touching infected surfaces, like doorknobs or drawers. Also, sometimes it feels like the pest breathes on you. Uh, you speak as though the disease was a living creature, but it's just a bunch of microbes. I'm not a doctor, Master Barak. I'm a common orderly, scared witless. I'm only describing a dream I had. But this pest, it's like it's alive. It speaks, breathes, and woe if it breathes on you. Why is it always about prophetic dreams in this town? Anyway, all those touches melt your immunity worse than air. Like a hot knife through butter. Then there's a tumor. Like a cancerous growth? The infection that accumulates inside your body. Checking if you're ready for it. If the world starts to go black before your eyes, escape the infected area before it envelops everything. But if the darkness gives way, that means it's lost interest in you. For now. You see interesting dreams, orderly. You're a weird dude. Alright. Hey, SB, maybe don't touch everything in the infected area? That's kind of what that guy was trying to communicate to you. This was the dead shop. Okay, so we need to turn left here. And it looks like the whole area is pretty infected. I should drink. Give myself a little bit more room to run. I'm assuming we don't want to drink from open water supplies in the, uh, in the Implaged districts. Okay, try to stay out of the big scary dark areas, because I'm assuming that's the pest breathing on you. Okay, I think this is the building we're looking for. It has no entrance. It is not the appropriate building. Here we go. This is the one. Let's go have a word with the architect. Or loot his dead body. Either one really works. Boy, it is taking a minute to load in here. That makes me a little nervous. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Perhaps the architect is responsible for, uh, for the construction of these buildings that seem very illogical. Awful lot of sketches, actually, like a weird number of sketches of that building. 
Hey, buddy, you in here? Wow, this is weird. Um. Huh. Has he been seeing the reflections too? This person lives, but mortal peril looms. The sand pest chokes their district, floods the streets. Yeah, I noticed. Immunity protects each person here. Some have a long one, others others but a short. The span of ones is long, another's short. Yeah, you just said that. Uh, what? I never thought immunity could be measured in centimeters. A dice roll makes a clearer picture, sir. At midnight, death will roll his dice to see if he rolls high. This one will perish. If he rolls low, they live one day more. Your part, Barak, is to, but to adjust the odds. By raising their immunity. Yes, I'm not completely clueless. A store-bought cure or tincture brewed from herbs would help them stay alive another day. Lucky me, I just happen to have some. Near human, you must act. These doll cocoons may one day become real and need your help. They're already real. And one more thing. The plague moves stealthily. It has no need to speak of its arrival in a place. When plagues by windows, people are at risk. But on the morrow, other districts will be touched, and you must find them out yourself. So watch the town's condition close, Barak. I hope there's less of it tomorrow, although that does not seem likely. Brother, I hear you are here. Drink with me. I should have left this godforsaken place two years ago. Get clean and move away for good. But I have no spine. I'm not a real man. I cannot leave her behind. Leave who behind? The tower, my precious tower. The locals call her the Polyhedron, referring to her as it, as if she were inanimate. But for me, she is alive and female, and I can't abandon her. I have to gaze upon her again and again to convince myself she exists. Uh, hey, you stink and your hands are shaking. You drink a lot, don't you? A lot. I have to quit drinking, but I don't have any willpower left. Why? There must be a reason, don't you think? You're a doctor, not a priest. My memory is faulty, true, but I don't remember us being friends. Tell me, what do you want? I'm not looking for company. Okay, as you wish. Listen, what's your name? <laughs> Usually people call me, help, I'm dying. No, Art Artemy Barak. Why have you come? Prophylaxis, you're in a plagued district, you know. Listen, doctor. You should check on Anna, too. She's a circus artist who lives nearby. She's mysophobic. I'm worried she might lose it completely these days. She's an interesting one. It'd be a pity if she died or went nuts. Okay, I'll check on her. It is my job and everything. So, uh, status in danger. Recommendations, boost his immunity. Okay, so we're going to give him one of these plus tinctures. Hey, that was pretty effective. You did all you could. Feel like we're going to be seeing that message a lot. Can I steal any of his things? Looks like I totally can. Yeah, I'm going to take this stuff. Ah, that's a lot of money. Listen, you do what I tell you to do, you're going to live... So, uh, I require payment. I require payment for these, uh, for these services. Yeah, I mean, it only sort of looks like the faces of the reflections, actually. What is this one? Oh, you know, just the doorway to hell, that's all. Casual painting of a hell door. Loot any of... nope. Okay. I do not... Huh, that's a whole cow skull. Never mind, I was about to say I don't think there's anything else here for us to steal. But that was pretty good. Okay, so I think... I, I do think it seems like it's maybe going to get a little bit easier for us to maintain our, like, food level. But then also we're going to have some other problems. Should I try to stop by Isidore's house? I wonder if we could, um, we, we left some stuff there, right? I wonder if it would be a good idea to try to swing through there. Well, let's go ahead and check on Anna. It doesn't, this district isn't filled in yet, but that doesn't mean it's not infected. That just means that I don't know for sure that it is infected. So I'm going to try not to drink from the water 
in the plagued districts. I think that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> that's a reasonable guess about what needs to be done. A little jumping mice. Uh, I'm running in the wrong direction. Yeah, the the circle I was running toward is not the correct circle. I know, I know. Our immunity just took a huge dive, so we're going to go ahead and drink something here. I don't know. I don't know if it was worth running through that. I didn't want to have to go around, because, like, I mean, any, any extra time we spend in infected districts is also bad, right? Uh, what I was going to say is, we're going to have to go find some time to go... We're going to have to find some time to go pick herbs. Sounds like we're still in an infected district. I can't even go inside the house anymore. That's a shame. Okay, so we need to go around this building. Turn left. And then it's this one right here. But I ah, thought I saw a person on the other side of that wagon there. Okay, here's the bad news. I don't have any uh, immunity boosters for Anna Angel. But we should check in on her anyway, I'm assuming. Seems like the decent thing to do since we said we would and everything. Actually, did I say I would? I don't know. Whatever, let's do it anyway. Okay, I would love to not use the one match that we have. In case you're wondering why I'm wandering around in the dark. Hunger is starting to become an issue. I don't think I have any food. No, we got a shop. I mean, we have money now. That shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, nothing to loot over here. I don't actually know what mysophobia is. Hey there. Cool coat that you Just made out of several other coats. Don't touch me. Ever. I ah. hate the feel of all that. I used to sing every day. At dusk. What do you want? Don't touch me. Stay away. Uh, quiet now. I'm a doctor. Are your hands clean? They're as clean as anybody's. You've touched the doorknob. So? Microbes are transmitted with touch. They stay on the skin. Evil is transmitted with touch, too, and it stays on the skin. Fate is transmitted with touch. All this dirt changes you, killing you slowly. This is so repulsive. Okay, calm down, please. I don't want to even think about it. Everyone is prattling about that toxic soot from the factory. It's out there, behind the windows, everywhere. All this dirt and grime. It's a punishment, that's what it is. It's all about those damn children. Uh, yeah, you're a circus artist, all right. Now, let's try not to be condescending immediately. You'll have to trust me if you want to survive this. What? Look me in the eyes and listen to me. I'm going to give you medicine to protect you from microbes. Do you understand? Are you a real medic? You, you really can help me? So I wouldn't... Okay, just don't touch me. Uh, yeah, just stay indoors. So, bad news, we don't have... Oh, apparently the Twirine works as an immunity booster? Let's find out. Let's find out if it actually does make the bar go up. Okay. Still in danger, but that's interesting. We might have to drink some Twirine here in a second. Okay, so does the V mean... Is this supposed to be a check mark? Like, I already administered treatment to them today? Or is it just these are people who are in plague districts? Hard to know. Uh, doesn't look like she has anything that we can steal. She does have a trapeze in her own home. Fancy. Okay, so we can drink the Twirine if we get really desperate. But I think what we should do really right now, what we should focus on, is getting the hell out of here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Our immunity is dropping rapidly. But we may as well go check on the other architect, right? What is this? What am I running past? Clothing? I don't really care about clothes. Uh, we could, I guess we could be breaking into places and robbing them. Actually, hold on. 
Is this the pharmacy? Where's the pharmacy? I had to turn this way. We should go to the pharmacy. So I have some money. We could uh, we could maybe pick up some additional immune boosters or something. I could certainly use them. Of course, I also need to use the money on food. It is a pressure that we're going to have to get used to, right? This game is stressful. Where's the actual pharmacist? Here we go. All right, what have you? Well, some twirines, some immunity boosters, some bandages. The immunity boosters are remarkably not that expensive. Also, nope, sorry, my mask is worn off. I need to put a new mask on. So, what do we have that's actually valuable to you? It's the grindstone is okay, but that's really it. The twirine is valuable, but we need it. I could sell this needle. It's so hard to know how much value we're going to be able to get from a needle, right? Although I guess I don't need to sell it right now. It has the same value everywhere, it seems like. Let's take um, two boxes of immunity boosters. Actually, thank you. I'm just going to have one of those myself. And we'll bring the other one to the architect. And then we'll have to sell stuff for food. Or we'll have to take advantage of our higher level of immunity. It's not really that high. I'm just thinking, like, we need to loot, right? Also, I need to make sure I actually equip this. Next against Plague Clouds. Somewhat. Let's start by going to... Andre's house. We'll figure it out from there. Immunity's dropping... This is where we need to be. Do I have a bottle of water? I do. We should drink that. Okay, please, please tell me that Andr Andre Stemmeton just sat down to a huge dinner and he'd love to share some of it. Okay, we've been here before. That not kid? The dog's mind is smaller than a man's, but the heart is so much greater. Greater at what, though? No well, fancy meeting you here. Am I disturbing you? No, I'm content. As you can see, Khan has deigned to ask us for help. It's almost like admitting he's wrong. I'd never ask him for anything, however badly we needed it. Pride is more important. We can live without him, but he can't live without us. As they say, QED. Uh, are you two at war or something? That would be too strong a word, but fights happen, yes. When it all began, we fought until the first blood was drawn. There was a lot of spite. But why? Because of that stupid tower. It changes how they think. It turns dreams real, imagine that. They're addicted to it. We, on the other hand, don't need it at all. We have our own world, no less perfect. We have our halves and both feet planted firmly on the ground. We don't try to escape reality. Khan called us traitors. Deserters. They can go blow their tower. I see. So what's brought you two together? The House of Death. Have you heard the story? The candles, the dawn, the locked door? Can't say I have. Things like what's happened yesterday and the day before. They never happened. People died, yes, but not quite like this. Death has come to town. And death is quite a bird, a home bird, to be precise. So when he comes, he stays in an abandoned house. Even death needs a place to rest. Uh-huh. Death comes at midnight. That's when trouble starts. But if someone were to find his house before midnight, then either stay there till dawn or light candles inside, he'd be stalled. Also, you're supposed to become immortal. But I don't believe that last part. No, the rest of it's extremely sensible and believable, though. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Khan is right about this, this part, at least. There's a grain of truth in any legend. The hell with old grudges for now. My scouts and I are looking for the House of Death today. We'll start with the crude sprawl. I have a hunch it's there. Since your old man, I, I mean, since so many people died there, that's where death must feel at home. Yeah, please don't go there. I'm not going to cower behind another man. And I want to show Khan the pedagogue how we do things down here. 
Let them hide in the tower. We'll do the work. I'll find it myself. Stay here, please. Looks okay, like we should I'm talk to Khan. Of the king's willing to tend to the real world now. Does it? I don't think that's true. Yes, yes, I know. We're supposed to stay indoors. And the tower's inhabitants do just that. I make sure my people follow the law. But I am Casper Kane. Your laws don't apply to me. You're the one they call Khan. I've been looking for you. I am Khan, son of Victor Kane. You knew my father, Isidore Barak. What business did you have with him? We talked. I was curious what Simon saw in him. Simon? Excuse me, were you born yesterday? Simon Kane. Yeah, like, uh, this is a thing Artemy knows. I don't know why that was even a question. The head of our family, my uncle, the immortal man, the one who died two days ago, the one we can't live without. He molded this town into what it is. He kept its spirit aflame. You honestly have no idea who he was? Listen, I'm a local and I know about, about Simon. You mind your manners and pretend that I'm not asking you incredibly stupid questions for no reason. You're a doctor. I respect your future heroism. So I am offering you an overabundance of politesse. Yeah, is that what's happening right now? Because it doesn't feel like it. What are, you two, what are you two up to? Excuse me, but why in the world should you care? I don't understand why you find it appropriate to pry into our affairs. I care about everything these days, such as a doctor's job in the days of an outbreak. We're enemies, after a fashion, his soul and a halves against my dog heads. But we're negotiating an armistice right now. If he lets go of his usual bullheadedness, it might happen. Are you happy now? Can we get back to our business? Not exactly. Uh, do you know how my father died? No, not yet. I have a hypothesis, but it's too early to tell. I'll have to check. Check what? The hypothesis. The theory. The idea. Was I not sufficiently clear? It needs testing. If Notkin stops playing the fool and sends his soul and a halves to search, maybe we can even do it tonight. Yeah, you need to elaborate. No, I think you're too old to believe in fairy tales. A skeptic would only get in the way, so I won't even waste time explaining. But I do believe you. Now, I do. And I'm coming with you. Apparently. All right, that can be a that can be a uh, in a couple of minutes kind of thing here. The soul is weaker than flesh. Andre Stamatin in the flesh, the flesh and also the jogging suit. Came here to have some fun, Sawbones. Plague is a time for feasts. So I hear you're an architect. It's a total non sequitur. Sure am. Have you seen the dancing bridge in the capital? You built that? That's right. And the polyhedron. What do you think? Uh, I think when it comes crashing down, it's going to bombard the stone yard with debris. Don't fret, it's not going to collapse anytime soon. It's held for five years, and will survive at least 500 more. How does the ground even support something so large? That's not... buddy, that's not how the ground works. And one must be able to think boldly. The ground is nothing but dirt, nothing but soil hiding rotting corpses. It's the realm of the dead. We've always wanted to create something that the earth cannot touch. Cannot defile in any way. Uh, I've always considered the Earth to be a source of life. What a lout. Have you checked up on my brother yet? I have. I took care of him. Great job. Have a drink on me, then. Uh, yeah. Give me the bottle and keep your compliments. Take good care of my brother, Doctor. If I kick the bucket, so be it. But my brother must survive. He's a genius. And you're not? I am the battering ram that clears his path. Me and him are perfect twins. Okay, all in all, you seem healthy. The judge will be pleased. What on earth does the local climate is good for twins even mean? <laughs> that may be just a slick reference to the fact that there's a lot of doubled up character models. Blood Twire costs three times as much today. Oh hey, lucky me. Is that lucky me? Do I have any Blood Twire on me? I have just some Black Twire. Well, by itself, it's not going to provide a lot of value, so I guess we sell it to him. He's the only person who's going to pay us anything at all for it. He won't take any of the rest of our stuff, which is a little awkward, but... We we have things to sell. We can find somebody else. I accept your deal. We're going to have to go find somebody else, and, uh, like, pretty soon. Okay, nobody else here wants to talk to me. 
Well, I think we're going to go upstairs and save at the clock up there. And then we'll pick this back up tomorrow. Uh, things have certainly gotten more difficult. I definitely think we're in a lot more danger of actually dying, like, pretty soon. Yeah, we'll hit this, and then uh, that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, come back next time to see if I do, in fact, keel over from disease before the hunger gets me. And we'll see you then.